Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by The Last. Delighted to be joined by WBC world champion Julio Cesar Martinez. How are you, sir? Very good. I'm happy and I'm excited. More than excited, I'm enthused uh, because the time is here for this fight. It was postponed for months. It fell two times. And like they say, there isn't a time that doesn't arrive and there's no date that doesn't get completed. So we're ready to give everything. I spoke to McWilliams and he said to me that Previous, when you had the hand injury, he perhaps wasn't too sure. He didn't really believe too much that the hand injury was true. Um, does that make this a little bit more personal for you on Friday night? Yes, you know, because of things that he was saying. You know, additionally, it was going to be postponed, and that makes it a little personal. But now that he's talking all that thing and saying that I don't want to fight, it made it more personal. But we're going to see in the ring. I hope that he fights just as hard as he talks. Do you feel like there's a lot of expectation on you? Eddie Hearn speaks very highly of you and you have a lot of people in the UK looking forward to watching you fight because you're exciting, you're powerful. Do you feel like there's a lot of pressure on Julio Cesar Martinez? Like always, there's pressure and this pressure is coming from all sides. Uh, we're going to make sure that Mick Williams is not an obstacle, but at the same time, you know, we fought a lot of undefeated um, fighters before. Again, we're not going to underestimate, we're going to make sure that this isn't a slip up in our desire to capture other belts, fight all, the, uh, all these other champions. Uh, we're going to make sure that this is just another fight for us. Again, not underestimating him, but we're going to look for the KO or the decision. We're ready for that. And one thing that Eddie has spoken a lot about is the potential of you moving up and being in the, these unifications. Do you have to sort of keep yourself very focused and stay very mentally strong? Because like you said, you have McWilliams in front of you, but there is a lot of talk about unifications and moving up as well. Yes, you know, that's the way I want it. I fought a lot of undefeated fighters, but again, we want to unify. We want to be champions. We want to fight the undefeated champions. We want real fights. We want tough fights. Um, you know, we know that Mick Williams is going to come for everything, but we're going to make sure that after that, we go for the other belts. And if we can't get those other belts, we're going to move up to super flyweight and fight the winner of Gallo Estrada and Chocolatito Gonzalez, whoever remains champion after that. Obviously, from a UK perspective, we're really excited to potentially see you and Sonny Edwards. You've got some history. Obviously, you came over to the UK and fought Charlie at uh, the O2 Arena. We would love to see you fight Sonny Edwards. He's been very vocal in the UK about talking about you and your history in some of your fights as well. Um, is that something that really interests you in potentially making another trip to the UK to fight Sonny? Yes, that's what we uh, that's what we want. You know, this is the time, the thing that we've been working for. That's why we're going to leave everything in the ring. And after that, if it's him, then yes. Again, I hope that both of us come out well from this fight. God willing, me and my opponent uh, come out well, and I get the victory. But what I would like is to get another belt. And what way, what better way to do it than against Sonny Edwards? What do you make of Sonny as a fighter? Of course, you're two completely opposite ends of the scale, two completely different styles. Just your thoughts on on Sonny as a fighter. We know that he's a technical fighter, that he likes to move, that he likes to hit and move, but we're ready for that fight if it comes after. We're ready for a decision or um, if it ends up being a brawl. Again, we're excited. We're hopeful that after this fight that we have, if God willing we win, and we have our hand raised, that we can make that fight right away with Sonny Edwards. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you in the ring on Friday night against McWilliams, a really good fight, and like Eddie said, one of boxing superstars at the moment. I just want to ask you one uh, final question about Canelo Alvarez and the potential of him moving up to Cruiserweight. You spent a lot of time around Canelo and you know him well. Just your thoughts on Canelo making this, this wild jump to Cruiserweight? Yes, you know, I think he has the capabilities, the strength and the power to be able to fight at the Cruiserweight division. So my respects uh, to him because he wants to be a champion of many divisions. It really fills me with pride, but I also want to follow in his footsteps because I want to be a champion someday, uh, continue being at flyweight, become one at super flyweight. But sometimes, you know, these fighters didn't seem like they wanted. They're telling me that they need four to six months to prepare. But anyway, I want to follow in the footsteps of Canelo, be a champ in many divisions um, from flyweight, super flyweight, bantamweight, all the way to super bantamweight. With everything but fear, was it? With everything but fear? Con todo menos con miedo y con quien sea y donde sea porque somos hombres no payasos. With everything but fear, I'll fight anyone, anytime because we're men, not clowns. Uh, God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Please.